Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about how to make your key points stand out using a sidebar. So we're going to make a template that looks like this, and this is my sidebar, and you can see here that my key points will always be visible to my audience. And when I'm going through my presentation, the key point which I'm speaking about will highlight on the sidebar. Now, if you actually look at this in normal view, you can see that this PowerPoint is made up of six slides. This is my introductory slide, and then key point one, and there's my concluding slide. So let me show you how I used a sidebar in one of my PowerPoints. Now, this is my presentation on how to create a great presentation, and this is my title slide. And then on my next slide, you can see my sidebar. Now I have nothing highlighted on this first slide. And the other thing I like to do is I like to have a blank slide on the right here because it draws the audience's attention to the sidebar. Now I'm going to have a sentence where I'm going to go through all of my four key points in the next four slides very quickly. And that sentence might be, uh, to create a great presentation, you need to focus on your story, your visuals, your voice, and your room set up. So I just went through four slides very quickly. Now on my next slide, I'm going to go back to the story. It's still a blank slide. And then I am going to start going into detail about each of these topics. And I might have two or more slides describing this one topic. Now I go into my next topic. Now you'll notice that I blanked out the screen again and I have a curtain kind of dropping here and it switches to the next topic here. So again, the audience's attention goes back to the sidebar. And so I'm going to talk about visuals. And then I go through this and here we go. And now I'm going to go on to my next topic and you can see that it slides down and we're on to the next topic. Now, the audience really doesn't know how many slides I have on each topic, and that's a nice thing because I've got this illusion of stillness here. The audience actually doesn't know how many slides I'm using. Uh, now I go on to my next topic, which is room setup, and so on. And then I would have my conclusion, everything blank. I might put my key points on the right side here or my take-home message. There are three benefits of using a sidebar. First, your key points will always stand out to your audience. Second, your audience always knows where you are. And third, it looks very polished. Now I just used 18 slides, but the audience doesn't recognize that I use that many slides because there's an illusion of stillness between slides. And so it makes your PowerPoint look very professional. Sometimes I see my students put too much information on the sidebar. They have their introduction, their conclusion, and references. My recommendation is get rid of the introduction, conclusion, and references and just put your key points on the sidebar so your key points stand out. So let's create a sidebar. First, I'm going to click on File, and then I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to create a new presentation. Create a blank presentation. I like to always start with a blank white screen. Now delete these boxes here, click on them and press delete. Then go up to insert and click on shapes and then select the rectangle. Now I'm going to draw the rectangle and this is going to be the sidebar here. And you want to get it about that size. Now the next thing which I want to do is choose a color. So I'm going to go to shape fill and I'm going to go to more fill colors and choose a color which you like. So I like that color and so that's going to be now you might see that I got a little bit of a blue line there. So I'm going to go to Drawing Tools, Shape Outline, and I'm going to click on No Outline. Well, now the next thing which I want to do is draw my button. So I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go to Shapes, and I'm going to draw another rectangle. And I'm going to draw this one about the size of the button which I want to use. So there we go. Now again, I want to get rid, I want to use the same color. And now I want to type in the topic. So type in the name of your longest topic. So something like uh, this is key point number one. So that's my longest topic. Um, now I always use as a minimum font size, font size 24. So that's my minimum there. So now what I want to do is I want to make it look like a button. So I'm going to go to drawing tools and then I'm going to click on shape effects. Then I go down to bevel and then choose one of these bevel options. I like this one here. 
Uh, so now it looks like a button. So now what I want to do is create my other buttons. So click on the button and then press Control C and then click off the button and press Control V, Control V, Control V. So I want four buttons in this presentation. And line them up roughly on your sidebar. Uh, so I'm going to line my buttons up here. And it looks like I need a bit more space. So I'll line it up down here. Okay. Now you can see that the gaps between my buttons are uneven. You can also see that it's not flush on the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to line them up. So select over all four buttons. Don't select over the rectangle behind it. You just want these four buttons. Then go up to Drawing Tools. Then click on Align. And then click on Distribute Vertically. When I click on this, the gap between the buttons is going to even out. So now you can see that there's an equal gap between each button. Now I'm going to go into Align. And I'm going to click on Align Left. So now they're all going to have the same left flush margin there. So now they're all lined up here. And I can adjust all four buttons on the background. I can move them around. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good right now. Now the next thing which I want to do is I want to create the top of my title slide. So uh, my title for each slide. So what I'm going to do is again I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to click Shapes. And then I'm going to click uh, Rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my rectangle across like this. Okay. And now I'm going to type in Title. Okay. And you want to make this as big as you can. So something like uh, maybe size 40 or 44. You can take a look and see what's appropriate. Okay. Now I want to adjust the colors. Uh, so I might think about using blue for this title. Uh, so I'm going to go into my drawing tools. I'm going to go to shape fill. Now I might choose another fill color. I'll choose a standard color and I might choose this blue here. So now I've got my title there. Now I'm not sure if there's a light blue outline on it. I'm going to just double check and I'm going to click shape outline and I'm going to click no outline. So now there's no line around it. Okay. Now uh, I want to make this slide perfect. So I've got to type in the names of all of my key points here. Uh, so make sure that you've decided your key points because it's really time consuming to change later on because you'd have to type it in over every slide. So make this one slide absolutely perfect. The other thing which I sometimes do is I might add a logo or I might have the title of my presentation always on the top right here. But basically I think this looks good for my, uh, for my introductory slide. Now I'm going to go over to the left uh, pane here and I'm going to click on this slide and then I'm going to press Control C and then I'm going to click underneath and I'm going to press Control V and I'm going to do that until I have six slides. Okay. Now the first slide, this is going to be my introductory slide. The next slide, this one I'm going to talk about topic one. So I'm going to go to click on this button. Then I'll go to Drawing Tools. And then I'm going to change the color to blue. The same color as this top here. Then I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm going to click on it and change it to blue. And then I'll go to the next one. Here's a little shortcut you can do. If you click on this and then you press on Control and then Y, it does the exact same thing that you did last time. So it's a very fast way of doing it. So just click Control Y and it basically does the last action that you did. So now you can see that my sidebar is done and we can just make sure that it looks okay. So there we go. My sidebar looks good. Now there's one other thing that I want to do is uh, I wanted to have a curtain in between each slide so that the audience looks at my left uh, slide at my sidebar. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this slide and I'm going to put one more. So I have two slides exactly the same. Now the first slide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this rectangle much bigger. Okay. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. So now the audience is going to, and I'll delete the words, and now the audience is going to look over on the left. Okay. Now this slide here, uh, this is my topic two, I want to do exactly the same thing. 
Um, but to make this easier for me, the one thing which I'm gonna do, just you learn little shortcuts. I'm gonna just take this rectangle, press Control C, and I'm gonna go back over here and press Control V, and now I got slide number two, okay? So now we can see what that one looks like, and, and so on, okay? Now I'll do the other ones very quickly. Okay, so now I've finished making it. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. So here it goes, key point one, key point two, key point three, key point four. Now it looks a little bit flashy. I think I can make it look a little bit better. And what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna just make a nice little transition between these slides. So I have my introductory slide. Now this slide here, I'm gonna click on transitions and I'm gonna click on wipe. And what I'm going to do is right now it's wiping from the right, but I'm going to actually click wipe from the top. Okay, and that's going to make a smoother transition. So we can see what that one looks like. You see how smooth that one goes down? This one is still flashy. So let's change the other ones very quickly. So again, I'm going to click on this slide, the one with the blue on it. And then I'm going to go up to transitions. Then I'm going to go to wipe and then I'm going to switch it to a from top. Then I'll click on the next one, wipe, effect options from top, and then I'll go to the next one, uh, wipe, effect options from top. Okay. Now I've got my PowerPoint and I'm all ready to go, and that looks just about right. Now, just remember that you can always have two or three or four slides for each of these topics. So always keep one slide blank. And I'm gonna press Control C here on the left side, slide number three. And I just want maybe about four of those slides, for example, and then I can start creating my presentation. So that's all there is to creating a sidebar.